My name is Goldie Kana, and I'm an undergraduate student working in Dr. Eric Gray's lab at the Illinois Institute of Technology. In this video presentation, I'll be describing techniques for the use of algid microbeads in biomedical engineering, specifically in the field of cell and tissue engineering. All the work described here has been done in collaboration with Dr. Emmanuel Opara's lab at the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine. I will present techniques for fabricating algae and microbeads for use in both drug delivery and cell encapsulation. Finally, I'm going to demonstrate a novel procedure that we've developed in our lab for generating multi-layered algae and microcapsules that can be used for the dual purpose of cell and protein encapsulation. Alginate is composed of beta-D manuronic acid and alpha-L guluronic acid residues in varying sequences. Alginate solution crosslinks to form a gel in the presence of a multivalent cation such as calcium-2+, which is most commonly used. Researchers have investigated the use of alginate microbeads for cell and protein encapsulation. The properties of alginate hydrogels can be varied based on their synthesis conditions with inherently different properties, which, for example, can be used to tune release kinetics. Alginate microbeads have been used for many wide-ranging applications, including protein encapsulation, drug delivery, cell encapsulation, and as an ingredient in food science, such as molecular gastronomy. We begin by making up an inner layer alginate solution. Add 25 millimolar of heapies, 118 millimolar of sodium chloride, 5.6 millimolar of potassium chloride, and 2.5 millimolar of magnesium chloride to deionize water. Shake thoroughly to ensure all reagents have dissolved. 